Hello humans and welcome to Coffee Talk, where the coffee never stops talking. So this is going to be different from my usual content on my channel, but you know, it's um, I think we can have some fun with it. Coffee Talk is a visual novel that I think we we all can enjoy, you know, because who doesn't like coffee and who doesn't like talking? If you don't like either of those, you're on the wrong channel. I hope I can be a reliable narrator. Seattle, 2020. Ooh. So this takes place like in the future past. A city filled with dreams and madness. Dun dun dun. A time when the Great War Whoa, is this like a Fallout fanfiction? Is that why we're doing this? Between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still... It is a place and time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left their forests to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves, it's, 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 yeah, dwarf caves, to start their automotive empire. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And humans live among them as driven as ever. Oh yeah, you know it. Well, I guess you guys know it. I'm not human. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, my, my species is the Giz. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Credits. Most of those stories are left untold. Aww. But some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and coffee, and wood, and coffee, and glass, and coffee. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city, Stands a coffee shop. Ooh. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. Because uh, <clears throat> it's really a, a cover-up, you know? It's just a front. We'll be, we'll be slinging that cush. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Law and Order. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Oh, I remember that day exactly. Whoa, green hair. Uh, okay, um, I don't know if I should give Milo a different voice other than mine. I think I'll just keep it as my base. Uh, well, oh, it's you, green hair. And, oh no, green text. Freya, Freya. Uh-oh, uh, uh um, okay, this is gonna be rough. Hey, hey Milo, how's... <laughs> hey Milo, how's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. 
It's your hair. It's way too green. Huh? What happened? What happened? My supplier, you know, in quotes, supplier, made made some logistical errors. He's a robot. He he's just he was uh, in the loop. He blue screened. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Bummer. Hey, I don't you, I don't use that language around here. Go go take your bum and shove it somewhere else. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine. In quotes, caffeine, if you know what I mean. You desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me get things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. Huh, writer's block again? You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember? Do you remember? My, my, my plan to... Well, we got a time machine. There's a TARDIS going on. Ah, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. The machine. Now we're gonna we're gonna turn you into coffee. It's gonna be green coffee. Do you want your triple? Sh oh, oh, excuse me. Do you want your triple shot espresso? Now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to... Oh. Okay, green hair tutorial. Green tutorial. Uh, just check your phone. Your phone, okay? Anyway. Oh, you sure like saying anyway. Anyway, I really need that... Triple shot espresso. Triple A. Eh? So, coffee, 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 coffee. Please help me. Uh, uh, again, this this trap. I, I can only say coffee. Espresso. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mmm, that aroma. Sip, 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 sip. Ah! <laughs> oh, she actually says, uh... uh <laughs> ah! <laughs> exactly what I needed. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Again. Anyway, or... Where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. If you know what I mean. Uh, so, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. I, I've never seen awry spelled out. Well, my first time seeing a word that I never use. He, 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 he. <laughs> What's that mean? Where they go like, uh, uh, when I go... H E H E. I don't, I don't, I'm not going he he he. I'm going he 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 he. Ha 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 ha. Oh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening whispers? Evening whispers? Whoa. Whoa, green hair. What kind of business are you getting into? I thought you were a writer. Not, not a, 
a jazz performer. GNR Radio Galaxy News. Okay, uh, GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presents itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? In quotes. Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. Oh, green hair. Green hair. You never, you never sleep your way to the top, green hair. Oh my god. Green hair, don't tell me. Don't tell me. So, naturally, I pitched my book idea. Ellipsy. 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 I was getting kind of awkward. Come on, don't look at me that like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know it was such a stupid thing to do. I don't know why I struggled on that. Yeah, yeah, I know it was... Yeah, yeah, I know... I know it was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So he challenged me to a duel. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he will pull some strings. He had a banjo for some reason and get the fiction publishing division. Ellipsy to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? You know, your, your jazz band, how, how are they going to do without you? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. Dun dun dun. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadline. Dun dun dun. If the if the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Should be a poet, Freya. Green hair. Ouch. Well, at least you got a month to finish the initial draft. That was... That was last week. Oh no, green hair. Ellipsy. Exactly. You stole the words right out from me, Milo. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Her does not compute, Ellipsy. <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. How rude? Uh, I've, oh, I, I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well, it was so bad that, well, after reading it, Ellipsy, I decided to just delete everything immediately. Oh, no. Come on, green hair. You can't be doing that. You gotta keep going. You gotta push. You can't just delete, you know, your writings. Exactly. I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna give you a classic ellipsy. So, zero. Huff. <sighs> Yes, I really need to finish it in at least two weeks. Two weeks? Oh my god. 
Green hair, this isn't like some kind of book report. You're writing a thing that you made a deal with. Ah, uh, okay. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. A very terrible plan. Italicize if you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my bitch. <laughs> I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know? Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Quick, hide the stuff. <laughs> Whoa, okay, so now we got green hair and Miss Horns McGee over there. Welcome. Welcome, uh, Miss Question Mark, or should I say Miss Question Mark, Question Mark, Question uh, Mark. Let's see, another lady's voice. Hi, 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 there, hi, there, hi, hi, there, hi, hi, there, hi, hi, there. Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, I guess she's real nervous. Good, good, e good, good evening. Good evening. For here, miss? I hope not. Yes, please. I, I am not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. Ooh, oh, little horns over there. Eh? Uh, on your mood? Are you feeling, you feeling in uh, for something kind of hot mm -hmm, and steamy? Mm -hmm. Coffee? I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Dun, dun, dun. The dreaded words that every simp doesn't want to hear. Not planning to be awake all night. Well, lady, give me your phone now. Let me tell your boyfriend that he, he's not going to get lucky tonight. So definitely no caffeine. How about, some, how about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, miss. Oh, miss question mark. Anything with chocolate in. Wait, what? Anything with chocolate in, please. Anything with chocolate. Uh, let's make, let's make a chocolate latte. It's not coffee. Oh, my heart hurts from doing this. Oh, no caffeine. What have what have I created this monstrosity? Here you go, a, a latte, a latte latte for you. One cup of coffee goodness. I mean, count your chocolatey goodness. Uh, I got coffee on the brain. Thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. sip sip sip. So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes. Y yes, sir. He should be here soon. Look at you now. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I uh, thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Midnight? What time is it? Where's the clock in this place? It's past midnight? What the hell? And so it's a Tuesday too. Oh my god. What kind of business am I running? Italicized. 
because it's the uh, because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight it's mostly empty now that you mention it is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night hey lady lady miss horns miss question mark horns yeah, you don't, you don't criticize my business. You know, this is my deal. Uh, you know, I worked hard. I, I, I moved from space to come here to your planet. Your weird back backwards green haired horned planet. And uh, yeah, I'm not having none of your criticism, ma'am. You can get the hell out of here. Take your boyfriend too. Definitely not. Definitely not. So, see, okay, green hair. I'm liking you a lot more now. Yep, what she said. Then, then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. Ah, so whisper, wi wistful. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. Yeah, pardon you indeed. But how can you survive? I okay, lady, hey, lady, lady, lady. Don't, no, no, no. Let me tell you the truth, lady. You know, you're a sweet girl. You're probably innocent to the world, but well, I guess not with horns. You're not so innocent. But lady, lady, you know, what? this is just a front. Let me give you some of my product to show you why uh, I stay in business. That's a secret. A secret that's uh, worth a price. Milo here is damn rich. That's the secret. Hey, green hair, green hair. Oh, really? Oh, oh no, no. You're stopping the criticism, eh, horns, huh? Now hear that I'm a big rich man. Big and rich. She's, ex she's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Milo can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you also have a weird quiet place to meet at night. Oh, oh thank you, green hair. That means a lot. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. Oh, that's the secret. Green hair, you're a homeless person, huh? Lying about this writing. I see you. All you do is smoke. You just roll papers. That's all you do. I'm a writer. Who? I'm a writer who works best at night. Amen. And in a coffee shop. Take me down to the coffee shop. Let me show you what I got. Whoa. Not so many options for that. Ah, oh, no wonder. Who else would come here in the dump? You just had no other choice. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You know. Uh, you can you can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up. Wow, that's really interesting, man. This horns, you just find everything interesting, eh? What kind of things do you cover? Do you a cover? I'm kind of mixing the voices now. Uh, I cover stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. Lady, you still read the newspaper? Or is this like some kind of web page that they got going on? Like, what's, what's happening? It's 2020, for goodness sake. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, Horns. I know I'm attacking you very hard. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll ease off on you. You're, you're a customer, after all, who's just not in a hot chocolate latte. Cool, instead of drinking it. Drink that shit, man. Drink it. You you wrote those stories? You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all that's so cool. That's a so cool. 
Then are you then are you here to write a new piece? Yeah, Green Hair, over there on the newspaper, you know, some free advertising would be appreciated. You can get a free coffee every time you, you know, I see something that you publish about this place, you know. We can have a little deal, you know. Be nice, be cool. It should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Oh, 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 Mr. Mr. Dude, Mr. Pointy Ears, welcome. Oh, Mr. Question Mark, I should say. Uh, which I, um, okay, this guy kind of looks radical. Let's give him a, let's give him a radical voice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice, I had a nice chat with the fine fox here. I mean, folks. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't let that slip. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Getting down to business. Huh. <sighs> Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Whoa, action zoom. Something better to keep me awake. With milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. Art. Art. The heck? Want me to get a pen and paper and start drawing some stuff for you? A latte. Well, he didn't want... He just said bitter, right? Uh, let's do coffee, coffee, milk. Coffee, coffee, milk. Attack. Almighty machine you have blessed us with. Cappuccino. Here the mighty god machine has given you. Your order. No, no art. Huh? Hmm. Something tells me you're a bit suave. How about, uh, I'm so suave. No art, huh? Hmm, that's a... That's a bummer. What's up with everyone using bummer, eh? What's going on? You guys are bumming around. It tastes suave. It tastes good, though. It's up to my expectation. I'm so suave. Anyways, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. There's the rain. It's a uh, okay... Ba ba Bailey's? Ba Bailey's? I guess. I was having a nice chat with them. With them? Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced. Uh, oh yeah, suave. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Bailey's. Nice to meet you. I have a suave name for my suave attitude. Oh my, where are my manners? I have still kind of work on your voice. Uh, I haven't introduced myself either. Lua. My name is Lua. Let's have a Lua, guys. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Milo the Alien. Hey, uh, did you know that Freya here is a writer? <laughs> How funny, right? It's not a real job for the evening whispers. Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Their their pay was so paltry. Oh, I'm suave. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelancer, designer. I'm a freelancer. That means I don't work. And illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographs for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve, the fucker. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Suave. Yep. He's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? Ellipsy. No, he isn't. 
Uh, I can't. Okay, I'm just. Maybe I should go back to the radical voice. Uh, but but I've dealt with, but I've dealt with worse clients. Yeah, radical, extreme, okay, extreme. I gotta do that to get my voice way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Ha ha ha, come on. He's, he's tough. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. He, ju he, du he judges people on levels of worseness. Either you're really w you're, you're worse or you're worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. Whoa, whoa. Okay, Freya. Getting them writing skills out. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? I just flex my muscles and I uh, got the old 12 gauge under the counter right down here, you know. The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That, uh, that uh, sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. I just go, wah, whee, and I go uh, give them a good old kiss on the cheek and they all fall asleep. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee making skills, though. Of course, coffee is the most important thing in the world. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Of the highest order. You're welcome. Anyway, my favorite word. Any I hope you don't use anyway in your books, your stories. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Well, this place may be a coffee shop, but I wouldn't call myself a barista, you know. I'm just, uh, I'm just one of the bros. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Oh, that's a weird looking J. Just over at that table in the corner. Oh, that, 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 guys, that's her smoking corner. You know, don't be bothering her when she's over there. Green hair likes to smoke. Next to the window. That's my spot. Oh, uh, okay. Have fun. Heh, 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 I'll try. Good luck. Radical. Thanks. And then there were two. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. I'm so excited. Radical. So how was your day? It was it was a fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really, really, really good mood all day. <laughs> wink, wink. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today, he was happier than usual. I gave him something special with my horns. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great to see him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. 
I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? I mean, you can do it anonymously. And you can make it, I don't know, you can, you can hide that stuff. That might be worth it. Yeah, do it, do it, pointy ears. You should ask Milo here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? Oh yeah! Uh, how do you usually deal with annoying clients? Need your, the ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods. I'm a PSYOPs agent, bruh. I play mind games with them. I uh, get in their heads and uh, break them down brick by brick, atom by atom. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Radical. Whoa, someone's phone is ringing. Ellipsy. 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 Your parents? Yeah, yes. Ellipsy. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well. No. What did they say? A lot. Ellipsy. 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 <laughs> this again? Come on, guys. <laughs> they won't give us a chance at all? Ooh. Oh. 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 Quotation, anyone but an elf, anyone but an elf. You damn pointy ears sons of bitches. Well, it, well, you both have pointy ears. What's so different about you two, eh? Other than she has horns. That's what they said. How about you? <clears throat> more, more or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. Yes, now I punched that guy in the face and he broke his back. Man, his life alert was going off like crazy. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Action. Dramatic spotlighting. They uh, kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know? They're your family. Oh, I can't stand even one second of being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But uh, still, you don't know what they said about you last night. Ellipsy exclamation point? Ellipsy exclamation? I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. About our... About our... <laughs> about our immortality. I don't know why I struggled with that. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. So he, you're gonna live forever? <laughs> this bro, you... About how even if I outlast you... Ellipsy. What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by... A lowly succubus. I knew you had horns, but I didn't know you were a freaking demon, like legit. <laughs> I thought I don't know. I thought you were just some weird 
creature of horns. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't trust you either. Ellipsy. That's exactly what they said. Ellipsy. Ellipsy. Not this again. So this is it, then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know, you know our families are a real Romeo and Juliet situation. We'll never agree. Ellipsy. We can just continue like this, you know, booty calls. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We are not like humans, those dirty humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know this guy is immortal. But how old is he? Is he like a thousand years old? Is this like a a twilight kind of relationship where he's like way older than she is? And like, oh my goodness. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll take you anywhere, anytime, baby. I'll be glad to sever my family ties. Remember that show? Wow. I, I remember it. I was like 800 when that show came out. If I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. So that's, wait. Well, now I'm curious about like how that works. I, I mean, they're not just like born with it. They have to like do some family ritual or something. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. Well, it is like, man. Hold on, hold on one second. Let me pause on this. Let me make some coffee. Let me watch this show as it goes on. Let me sip on something. I don't, I don't mind a bit. Ellipsy. You're making, you're making this hard for both of us. That's what I do, baby. <laughs> uh, do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reason. You know we're perfect for each other. My radicalness will get us through. I don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. Ellipsy. Ellipsy. See, we ellipsy together. That means everything to me. To us. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. And not spill our drama all over this counter. Lua. Lua, wait. She's sitting right there, bro. Oh, no, she teleported. She's magic. Ellipsy. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. Oh, trust me, bro. Trust me. I was enjoying every moment. Uh, now you got me doing it. Ellipsy. That's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope you're... Yeah, yeah, you're, you're writing this down, green hair. It's a, it's a scoop. It's a story. I, I, I do hope you're... I do hope yours... Wait, what? I do hope yours will... Oh, your story. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Eh, I hope so too. Radical. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. All that stuff is for me. No, it's not for you, not for the customers. I do have some uh, some some joints over here. That's a bummer. No, maybe you guys can be happier if you didn't say bummer and ellipses. 
No, I must say ellipses. It's the only way I can express my love. Well, do you do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? I sure do. Zip. Do you like green tea latte? Green tea latte? I'll take one. Green tea latte. Tea. Milk, milk. Machine. I am sorry to make tea with you. I know you are meant for coffee. But do this for this broken heart. Green tea latte with no art. Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. It's so radical. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. Heh. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. You're 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 so unradical, dude. You're a loser. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I have to why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can, if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. Not radical. At least you have an eternity to learn and change or eternity to be an eternal asshole man i'm gonna go listen to my music crawling in my skin anyway oh no green hair you got me saying it too not radical i need to go now <laughs> and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. Bro, it's like a Tuesday night. Uh, it's like past midnight apparently. So like, I don't know. The places are closing. They're closed. You probably have to go to a gas station or something. There's, there's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around. See you around too. See oh, see you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do do visit again. Uh, come on, Freya. The first thing you're gonna say to me is, "Ellipsy." You were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. I want to join in on that. Make it a thruple. Anyway. Anyway. I need to, ha to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm losing my voice. I'm, I'm turning slightly radical. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. Cappuccino, Italian delight. Oh my.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is I know this is very different from usual, but I hope it was entertaining and uh we're gonna we're gonna see what happens to green hair, horns, and pointy ears, see where they all wind up. <laughs>